and if so, what, or is it just still doing the same things over and over again? I think it's collective efforts every week, um, putting putting everything together to the to the point where we need to get to the win. And um, like I mentioned last week, I feel like we still have our best football to play, and I still believe that. And I think a few weeks ago, it just wasn't showing yet for us, and I think it's starting to turn around a little bit, but we got to keep progressing. What felt different about this game? Um, well, unfortunately, we were behind the sticks a lot. Um, we weren't very good on first down today. We didn't run the ball effectively, but we'll get that cleaned up. Um, a lot of long, long third downs today, which are tough to convert. Um, Chad has backed up, but the defense played their butts off, and we had great field position when we when we did put points on the board. So it's a testament to the special teams unit and the defensive unit. Is this kind of what you envisioned, like at the beginning of the season, what this team could turn into? You know, all three phases contributing. You guys uh, punching it into the end zone. You had the opportunities to do so. I think it's tough. I mean, a lot of people nowadays have a glass jaw, and if you get knocked on your butt, they don't want to get up. And that three-game losing streak that was really tough for us. And there's a lot of senior leadership that pulled together and brought everybody closer to one another without, you know, wedging us apart. Because we really only care about the people's opinions inside the locker room and inside our building. So I don't know if you could have told me a couple weeks ago this is what it would have looked like, but we still got two games ahead of us, and we're happy that we got kind of our fate in our own hands. So see what we can do with it game at a time. Was there any chip on your shoulder three weeks ago when everyone on the outside seemingly kind of counted you guys out? I don't think it's a chip on your shoulder. I feel like we have program standards that we need to live up to and we have high expectations for ourselves. So I think it's those expectations that we set for ourselves that we're gonna go out and play the way that we know how to, which is tough and physical and smart and together. And um, when we do all of those and we do it together, I think that's when we push things through and see the results that we want. What was it like getting the fullback? It seemed like the defense was <clears throat> on quite the run there together. Yeah. They were on the sideline. They beat us down there first. Um, they deserved it today. They played their butts off. Like I said, great field position when we put points on the board. So, I mean, I, I really don't care who carries that bull off the field. I had it in my hands at one point. I'm just glad that it's back with us. So, You've got to go against Cooper's, I'm sure, in drills probably now, mm -hmm. probably not live or anything. What does he mean to this team, and is he – gotten to the point of just oh it's just another thing that Cooper's doing out there or? yeah I mean we have a lot of guys like that they're just like wow incredible athlete better teammate and um, a lot of guys like that in our locker room and I feel like Cooper's one of them and I think we have a lot of guys that can still show their best football ahead but yeah I mean going against him in practice great athlete better teammate I'm sure I'm, during the game you lined up across from Herbig at number 19 mm -hmm. and, uh, Obviously, he, had, he was a problem for you guys. Did you discuss tweaks during the game of how to like kind of work around how the dominance he was showing up? Yeah, I mean, every week you got to account for great players. He was one of them this week. And um, yeah, you got to account for them, and they're going to make a lasting impression, not in a good way. Was there anything you did specifically, though, in this game where you, you kind of gained some traction like, um, or not? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they, they line up in wide nines a lot, which is definitely tough for tight ends on the end of the line of scrimmage because we're trying to move it, and they're trying to box us in. And when we get boxed in, everything just gets clustered up in there, and you can't get any movement. So we were really aware of him on the, uh, the perimeter and trying to reach our aiming points but not let him stick inside, which was what they show on tape a lot too. So I mean, little tweaks like that throughout the game that you just got to pick up on, and hopefully you can execute later in the game. How about Deontay Craig, one of his best games of his career today? How have you kind of seen him grow into what he's doing now? I think Craig is one of those guys that's going to continue to develop, and I think that's what our entire defense is doing too. Every week I feel like you're saying a new name on the defense. I'm just like, he's made that play 100 times in practice, and it just hasn't showed up yet on the field. And uh, it's really good to see those guys get that recognition. What was it, I mean, patience-wise for the offense? Because you knew the metal of your foe. You knew mm -hmm. what you were going against, and you knew it wasn't going to be easy um did it require a certain mindset just knowing don't take any unnecessary risks just let it work it, you know fist fight them for 60 minutes and get through it or you know what, what was kind of the mindset going against something like that? i mean like i said it's a collective effort um i think it was the second or the third drive we had that turnover the fumble and they went down and scored a field goal right off of that so you could see clearly right off of our mistake that they capitalized on it. And 
when we started taking care of the ball and you know we were trying to stay ahead of the chains and convert third downs stuff seemed to go our way but um, you know, when you when you kind of shoot yourself in the foot like that turn the ball over they're gonna go down and capitalize on it so we got to avoid that stuff at all costs as much as possible in the near future but yeah I mean they're a great team and if we shoot ourselves in the foot they're gonna take advantage of it so we can't do that in the coming weeks okay thanks Sam. thanks, thanks Sam.